Hi, my name is Christopher Holtby, co-founder and chief marketing officer of Wealth Advisors Trust Company. Today I'm going to talk about the fun world of trust accounting and trust administration. A corporate trustee gets paid to act as a fiduciary and to follow and interpret the rules of trusts. Now, rules are outlined in the trust document and in the state trust law statutes and court cases that creates the process. And the process is based upon trust accounting and trust administration. So trust accounting, flatlining, it's basically the most boring part of anything that happens in a corporate trustee. It's the commodity. Now one thing you got to be aware of, CPAs or accountants say, oh we do trust accounting. But you have to remember they're only thinking about the general ledger accounting. There's so much more going on which I'll go over really quickly. So the first thing is tax reporting. That's making sure that what needs to be reported to the IRS or the state, it's all good, it's done on time, and is done correctly. So that's pretty easy. Reconciliation. You know, this is this goes back to the old world of Wall Street when you had to correctly capture what was happening at the end of every single day between buys and sells, dividend reinvestments, capital gains reinvestments, are they distributed out, are they reinvested? All that needs to be captured correctly. Corporate actions. This is stock splits, dividend splits, buybacks, uh, companies being taken over, reverse mergers, all that happens inside of um, the uh, reconciliation around corporate actions. Principal and income accounting, again, this is going to be the most important part of what happens in trust accounting. It's actually pretty easy. Um, and just remember it, it's got to be done correctly, not underneath the mindset of general ledger uh, accounting. And then the last thing is distribution accounting, who gets what, when, why, in the correct way between principal and income um, distribution levels. That's really it. It's the commodity side of the business. So trust administration. This is my favorite part. Well, it should be everyone's favorite part. It's the secret sauce. It separates the corporate trustees that make life easy for you and that makes it really cumbersome. So trust administration really deals with distribution decisions. Big, big point. How are you going to get your money? How quickly and why? There's really cool ways to separate it so it can be super efficient. Investment management. We don't do this. But again, a standard corporate trustee is trying to manage your money um, in the best way that, that they can. And most of them actually do a pretty good job. Statement generation. Actually very easy, but there's a little bit of a art to make it readable and easy. So when you look at it, it's also important that the trust statement looks nothing like something you would get from your financial advisor or from the custodian. Completely different. The trust committee. I gotta tell you, 50% of all frustrations and inefficiencies in a corporate trustee happen at the trust committee level. Suffice it to say that is probably the biggest part of the secret sauce in trust administration, but we'll leave it at that. And tax compliance and tax planning. Remember everyone, corporate trustees only do tax compliance. Fill out the tax return, file it with the IRS or the state. They don't do tax planning. We're ex-Ernst & Young guys. If you don't do both, you're going to get an answer that you're not happy with. So we don't do it, but that also is covered underneath trust administration. That's it. Hopefully you found this useful. Any questions, give us a ring, send us an email. We're always here to help. Cheers.